G'day and welcome back to Derriere Farms with me, Farmer Jay. I have a question for you, my viewers, that I would usually ask in the community tab, but I don't have a community tab on this channel yet. Um, so I'm going to ask you to sound off in the comments and leave your responses there. My question to you is, what is it you want to see more of and what is it that brings you to a, a YouTube channel for Farming Simulator 22 or Farming Simulator in general? Do you specifically look for Let's Play videos uh, like our Erlengrat story time? Do you look for how-to videos? Like how to raise cows, how much raising cows costs. Um, speaking of costs, <clears throat> I'm thinking of doing more videos like we did with the Crone Big M where we ca compare the operating cost of a Crone Big M versus a regular mower and tractor. So you get a better idea of you know where your money's going the same with the operating cost of liquid fertilizer versus solid fertilizer which is cheaper um, another one I have planned is the cost of the supposed or so-called free fertilizers slurry manure and digesting I say so-called free because there's a startup cost to being able to use those types of fertilizers and that is either buying your barn and your pigs or cows or if you're selling silage to the BGA there's the purchase cost of the BGA and how many liters of digestate it will produce so how much does it cost you to produce initially digestate and then of course you got to look at the cost of tankers and spreaders to get that digestate to the field and spread so those are some of the cost type videos I'm thinking of doing Speaking of startup cost for cows, would you like to see more um, real farming facts from a farmer um, and compare them to in-game, much like we compared the Holsteins and the Brown Swiss in the game to real life to see which was more efficient? let's play videos I'd definitely like to do a few more of those um, like our Arlingrat story time like I said I'm a little low to touch Comston farm right now just because everyone else is doing it and I mean everyone um, I guess because it's the first map to be released as a mod for Farming Simulator 22. Um, everyone is covering it. Even people who normally don't do European videos are covering it and making some sort of a either live stream or let's play out of it. So until I can come up with a unique storyline, uh, I think I'm going to leave it alone. I don't have, obviously, the subscriber base that Dagoin does, where he just goes in and he does regular everyday farming. There is no storyline. Um, I started watching him because of his... He used to have storylines. Um, and I gather he's going to come up with a new... story time video at some point. Um... But right now, it doesn't matter. He's just going in on Obey Laurent and uh, Comston Farm and farming. Nothing more than that, and people are watching it. 
Um, if you just want to see that sort of thing with the farm growing, let me know. Uh, <clears throat> I am thinking of doing a Let's Play on Elm Creek. Now I know a lot of people have done that, but I think I have an idea how to do it so it's a unique storyline. And the farm that I did my beginner's absolute beginner's guide to farming simulator has actually grown quite a bit as I've been playing it. Um, so it's fairly profitable now. But I won't give away too many details about what I'm planning for that let's play. I have alluded to the fact that I am also doing a tractor repa uh, repair cost comparison. Um, essentially I have two 6120 John Deere tractors you can see on the left and then the other ones in the shelter. And I also have two 6250Rs which I'm essentially doing the same thing with and I'm tracking the repair cost of one on an hourly basis compared to what it's going to cost me or what it will cost or does cost to repair the tractor once it gets down to uh, um, halfway down the yellow bar on the right which indicates the tractor's overall maintenance. So is there a difference in doing daily maintenance versus let's say yearly maintenance um, and also what's the difference in cost between tractors repairs for example just to give you a quick insight I have a John Deere 8R410 and a John Deere 8RX410 essentially the same engine package the only difference is one has tracks the other one doesn't and the four the 8r cost 317 dollars to repair whereas the 8rx cost 360 dollars to repair um, stay tuned as to why anyway i guess those are my questions for you let me know sound off in the comments please sound off in the comments and let me know what it is you would like to see more of and i will respond to your comments and i will let you know if it's either planned a good idea or not feasible depending on how much time i have so i thank you in advance for taking the time and I look forward to your responses. Take care, Jake.